anyway, here we are. Rolling loop choke, one of my favorites. I remember I, I started to do this maybe 2014 or something like that, and I have been doing it since then. I love this attack. So anyway, we are, my point is on the turtle. So first of all, what I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need my right hand in, and I'm gonna need to have this deep grip. So I need to have this deep grip. And the deeper the grip is, the better for me, okay? So as deep as you can, as more details So how I'm gonna get this grip. Sometimes when I come in, I'm gonna usually use my also my other hand so I can make sure that this grip is super tight, okay? This is step number one. And now, what I need to do is, I need to also be able to pull Wesley's arm open because I, I need to eventually shoot my arm in, like so. So what I need to do, I go for the elbow, I don't go for the bicep or here, I go for the elbow and I pull, okay? Because now I created space here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot my hand in here and at the same time I'm gonna roll on the direction of you guys, so check it out. So I'm gonna bring my arm in, I'm gonna roll. And now comes the few crucial details. First of all, what I need to make sure, I need to make sure that when I'm landing here, I'm blocking my opponent's head. Let's go actually back here. So first we have the grip, boom. I open the elbow, I'm gonna roll and I'm gonna shoot this hand in and behind my opponent's neck. So I'm gonna go here, boom. And now comes the detail. I'm gonna shoot my body all the way to here. So now I can finish because now my opponent's head is bended and now I can finish here, boom. Because the detail is if I'm rolling and my opponent's Wesley's head is on the ground, now there's no way I can finish, exactly. So what I need to do is when I'm doing the rolling, I'm gonna follow my body so I make sure that his back of his head is not touching on the ground. Okay, and now I can extend and finish. Okay, let's go from the beginning. And now check out my body movement. When I'm doing the rolling, I'm continuing my movement until I control my opponent's back of the head. Check it out how I do it. So I'm here, I have my main grip first. Boom, one. I pull the elbow open, a great space. In, rolling, and I'm immediately walking towards my opponent's body because now his head is stuck here and I can finish the deed. And again, if I end up in this position, my opponent's head is on the ground, it's almost impossible to finish. And usually from here, I'm gonna start to do something else. So if we end up in here, make sure, you can sometimes to do small adjustments. So if my opponent's head is on the ground, I can sometimes try to do this with my right hand. I kind of lift him back to here, but many times we are kind of losing the position and already now I felt my grip went a little bit looser when I was here. So one time more. So we are in the turtle. First time grinding. And again, this is gonna be one of the hardest parts to grind the grip. But when your oppo opponent is in this kind of defensive mode, many times it's, I just start to grind, grind, grind. And I use my other hand also, and I have the main grip. Like so, here we are. So here we are. And again, the more deeper, the better. But let's see if I have like a this kind of semi-tight grip. Let's see what happens. I'm here. I pull the elbow, shoot in and over the neck, roll, and immediately I move here so he cannot recover his head on the mat. And now I'm in a nice positioning to finish. And again, what, how I need to finish? I'm gonna pull my right hand. I'm gonna push my left hand at the same time. I'm gonna kind of push my hip front way. So check it out. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. Rolling loop choke from the turtle. You know the drill. Go trick, keep smiling, and remember, jujitsu never dies, baby. Boom. Woo.